I think the people that are supporting Brexit haven't perhaps thought through all the implications and there's not a single study which has shown this is good for the UK economy. I haven't seen one and none of the authorities uh, think it is and certainly none of the economists I speak to think it is. But it's also very bad for Europe. The UK is a very good force within Europe uh, to make Europe more effective. Europe's got lots and lots of problems which need to be fixed. It'll take much longer to fix them if we're not there. And some of these problems are very big, serious problems for us, like what's happening with terrorism, like what's happening with climate change. So Europe needs to be more effective in managing these. And Britain certainly can't do it on its own. It's not going to do it with the US because our community is Europe. So I think it's going to be very bad uh, in many respects for economic growth, but also for political uncertainty and for risks. But even some things that people feel are the problem coming from foreigners will be worse. For example, the National Health Service and the hospitals in London, can we imagine them with less foreign doctors and foreign nurses and foreign cleaners? They'll become more expensive, the waiting lists will grow longer, uh, and far from foreigners being the cause of the problem in these systems, they're actually a major part of the solution uh, that keep these systems running. So we'll find that in many walks of life, including in our health systems, for example, uh, things suddenly get a lot worse, not better. And of course, we'll find that the attractiveness of London, because it's such an incredible cosmopolitan place with a range of restaurants, services, industries, etc., decreases. And it is a competitive world. Uh, people will go somewhere else. They'll go to Paris or they'll go to Berlin. They'll go to other places which will become those hubs.